Welcome to November's blog series and this month I've chosen the theme to be creativity. And I'm excited about that theme because I personally want to nurture more of my creativity. I grew up, and some of you may identify with that, thinking creativity was a special talent and reserved for people that were particularly artistic or musical or whatever. Well, in looking at this whole topic, I've discovered something very different. And so let's jump in with that first question. What is creativity? To answer that question, I've chosen someone who's needed to use his creativity on a daily basis. DeWitt Jones is a National Geographic photographer, a fabulous photographer who's done a series of DVDs, one of which is called Everyday Creativity. And in that DVD, he answers the question, what is creativity? And his answer is, it's the ability to see the ordinary, uh, to look at the ordinary, excuse me, and see the extraordinary. Yeah, to take an ordinary situation and find what's unique, what's special in that. And so he says it's not a talent, it's a perspective. It's Michelangelo looking at marble and seeing an angel. Well, so if it's a perspective, then maybe all of us can step into that perspective. And so as he talks in that DVD, Everyday Creativity, he goes on to say, what does it feel like to be creative? And his answer is, it feels like falling in love with the world. Wow, that was not the definition I was thinking. Falling in love with the world. What a great perspective. And so from that perspective, it triggered in me some thoughts about falling in love and what happens to the brain when in fact we are in love. And we know that some very special things happen not only does falling in love feel great, and it doesn't matter whether it's a person, a pet, a special activity, a piece of music. Falling in love feels great, but what happens in the brain is pretty important too. Let me read to you a little bit about what happens when oxytocin is released, because that's the chemical that the system releases when we're in love. Oxytocin is released allowing existing neuronal connections to melt away so that change on a large scale can follow. Let me repeat that. When we're in love and oxytocin is released, it allows existing neuron, neuronal connections, those are the brain connections, to melt away so that large scale change can occur. Wow. Pretty interesting. And when that happens, we're more open to learning. Now, there's two times in our life, and a professor, his name is Walter J. Freeman, professor of neuroscience at Berkeley, was the first to identify two key times or stages in our life when we are so open to learning, we'll learn almost anything. I've already given you a tip about what it might be. But can you guess when those two times in our lives we're totally open to learning almost anything? The answer is when we become a parent and when we fall in love. Because the oxytocin is released usually on both of those occasions. And that helps at a chemical level us open to new possibilities. Some of you may have noticed that when you're in love or a person you're in love with is different. They seem more open and willing to try different ideas, restaurants, foods, have conversations about things, just be more flexible, less defensive, less sort of in a pattern or a rut. And that's all because those neural pathways are melting away, creating more space for them to learn something new. Well, I think that's exactly what our world needs. We need to be more open to possibilities. Technology is changing. Everything is changing at such a rapid rate. What would it be like if we could have that open, in love with the world feeling on a daily basis? Well, that's what I'd like to challenge you with this week. I'm going to start my day 
every day for the next week with that intention to be in love with life and see what happens as a result. And I invite you to do the same and see what you discover. Does it change how you behave? Does it change what you experience? So that's what's up for this week. And then next week, of course, we're going to go to the other side. Is all of this just Pollyanna, rose-colored glasses? Are we just denying reality and what's really there? We're going to take a deeper look at that and see what are the implications of this perspective of being in love with life. So I hope you have a really great week. Have some great discoveries. I'm looking forward to it myself. And by the way, if you like the jewelry I'm wearing today, I want to give a shout out to Julie Prescott. She's a dear friend. She's the artist and creator of this piece and many, many pieces of fabulous, unique jewelry. And you can see her work on Pinterest. So have a peek. She's got some great things. Thanks and have a good week.